All right, and we're back at it. We now have our repository here. We've got our example one dot py that has doc strings we can document. And we'll just give you a reminder of what that looks like. That's right here. Functions that don't do anything but have doc strings explaining them anyway. Um, okay, so we've pushed all those changes uh, up to GitHub. What we're gonna do now is open the Windows command prompt. Now, you'll notice that I do this a little different. I, I run my uh, git commands from the git bash shell. I'm gonna run Sphinx from the Windows command prompt because they have Python set up there. Um, you may prefer to do it differently than me. This, you know, you may say this isn't the way to do it. Works for me. And then I want to go into that folder we created. I made that Sphinx directory that's empty. That's where I want to go. And now I'm simply going to type Sphinx quick start. And this will get things started up for me. Root path for documentation, that's the path we're in. We can just hit enter. Separate source and build directories, it says no. I'm going to hit enter for there. Um, prefix, just hit enter. Project name. Um, so we're just going to name this Sphinx documentation website example. Author's name, give my initials, project version 0.0.1, project release is also 0.0.1, uh, language is English, source file, we'll use RST, a restructured text. Any of your master documents or the web page index is a good one. Do you want to use the EPUB builder? Uh, we don't need to. Okay, here's where we need to pay attention. Auto doc, automatically doc, insert doc strings from modules. Yes, make sure you hit yes on that one. Um, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need that or that or that. Or that, or that, or that, or that. Uh, we want to add this Node Jekyll file. Uh, if you forget, we can always add this later. This allows us to host on GitHub pages. And create make file, yes. Create Windows command file, yes. I include both those because I work back and forth between Linux and Windows. Um, okay, so now we're good to go. Let, uh, let's go look at our folder. So if we pull this folder up, we have our repository. If we go to Sphinx, you can now see we have uh, some more information in there. Okay, and now what I can do is in the command line type make HTML. And this will build my website. This is making output directory. It's gonna take a second here. There we go. Okay, so if we come into uh, build HTML, and here's my index.html, the main page. If I double click on that, open with Google Chrome. There you go, welcome to Sphinx documentation, website examples documentation. So it gives me this really um, basic thing to, to start out with. And what we can do is we can edit that to make our own documentation website and then host it on GitHub. Uh, so we're gonna stop there for now. And the next video will show us, I'll show you how we can edit this documentation to auto document the code and to add some other things in there uh, and then we'll get on later to posting that onto github uh, hope you enjoyed it and that's it for now